now again we have started a different lecture that is the a complete timing diagram you can say by the help of uh, instruction that I have taken here three bytes of instruction LDA 70508 we have taken so from there you can get LDA 70508 I hope you understand about these three bytes of instructions two bytes of instruction and one byte of instruction because you know the size or bytes of instruction if you have any kind of doubt you can go to my previous lecture that year I have uploaded about the instruction and the byte size and operations and everything so now directly without wasting our time I'm coming here so three bytes of instructions obviously first of all we have to think the significance means what actually meaning of this LDA 70508 LDA 70508 means store the content of A means accumulator, LD means load. Either you say load or store. Load the content of or store the content of 20 uh, sorry, this year 70508 memory location I have taken. Earlier I have taken 20508. So I will change because I will say later. So 70508 memory location into the accumulator. So I'm telling you load the content of 70508 memory location or store the content of 70508 memory location into accumulator that means we are going to do some kind of operation that is the memory locations content we are going to that is already in the memory location so that memory locations content we are going to access from this memory location to the accumulator so that means we are accessing we are doing some kind of memory read operations not the write operations here so it is also memory read operations right so if i talk about the very first thing suppose if i tell you LDA, we have to place the starting memory location to the program counter pc i told you earlier program counter so here suppose the starting memory location is 2008 so in this 2008 first what they will take they will take the opcode they will take the opcode of lda in this 2008 memory location so upcode of whatever be that upcode of LDA, I don't know suppose. And if you don't know suppose. So the upcode of, you directly write the upcode of LDA. Then 2008, 2001 age, the next, obviously after having one machine cycle, the next memory location should be accessed by the program counter. It will be incremented. So in this next memory location, the lower byte address first, 508 will be accessed, 508 will be holded in this 2001 age. Again, then the next byte to hold this next byte 2002H memory location so PC program counter will again increment one location so 2002H so now this time they will be hold at 70H so this 70H the higher order address first the lower order address lower order address byte then higher order address higher order address byte and then now we are assuming that in 7050H memory location HL as I said you HL means nothing but HL means the HL register pair we can treat it as memory locations so 70H memory locations is holded by HL register pair so you can say in this H 70H is there and in L register 50H right so now the content of this memory location suppose 78H and that is denoted by M because I told earlier that HL register pair can be treated as memory sorry HL register pair can be treated as a memory so memory content of this HL register pair is suppose we have taken this is suppose I assume 78H so the first machine cycle will be obviously of code fetch the next machine cycle the data byte that means again read memory read the third machine cycle again the memory read and the last one that means from the memory location 70508 we want to access that 70508 memory locations whatever the data that data we have taken suppose 78H so this 78H data will be read it will, we will read from this memory location 70508 location right so this is why we need 4T state we need 3T state we need 3T state we need again 3T state so opcode fetch first 40 states we have taken then memory read for the lower order address byte 3 t states again memory read for the higher order address byte 3 t states again the 
the final memory content we are going to read from this Moe location that is 3t. So that is 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 equals to 13. So that is why it is 13t states required. Now coming to this part. I hope now this will be more clear. LDA 2050H timing diagram. MR I have written memory read as because uh, I didn't have that much of space to make it clear in this single page, right? So for this first opcode fetch, just forget about these things. For this LDA, so the opcode of LDA, it requires 4T state. That is why I have taken T1, T2, T3, T4, the machine cycle 1. So in this machine cycle 1, machine cycle, main cycle 1, clock and everything. Again, we have taken the starting memory location that was 2000H. So 8 to 15, the higher order address by 20H is there and T1 to T3 and then T4 is unspecified because to decode these things. Now again, for these cases, for this uh, lower order address bytes will be taken and I told you from the 80 to 87 obviously this, this is total 2000H address. So it will be halted by, the, by enabling this ALE. Now you can see the ALE enabled in the T1 state. Always ALE will be enabled in the T1 state or very first T state of any machine cycles. Then next in this T2 to T3, T2 to T3, T3 the opcode, the opcode byte of that means the opcode of LDA, opcode of LDA, opcode of LDA will be loaded, opcode byte loaded here in this T2 to T3. And that is why read because this is a memory read operation, so opcode byte will be loaded here only. Right. Now coming to this, this is a read operation, so we have taken this read, write, no write operations we are going to do till T1 to T4, no operations is there. And IOM bar, this memory operation, so memory M bar, IOM bar will be 0, and S0, S1. S0 will be 1, S1 will be 1 for this opcode fetch. Now coming to this next machine cycle where we are going to do the lower order address byte of this 7050, that means 50 is this data byte, this memory read, again this is a memory read. So for this memory read operation, we need 3 tier states, we have taken T1, T2, T3. Same clock signals is there, again for this T1 to T3, the higher order address byte. So the next memory location means the content of PC program counter will be 2001H. So 2001H. So for this 20H is there. And uh, in AD0287, it will be 01H in the first T state. By enabling ALE, we have enabled the ALE here in the T1 state. And from there, you can see again up to it will be disabled. And then read bar. Again, this is a memory read operation. So we have to take, and I told you the read and write everything will be read or write whatever the operations you are going to do this will be taken place in the t2 and t3 so t2 to t3 that means again now this is your lower order address byte lower order address byte will be treated as a data byte lower order address byte it will be treated as a data byte for these things so here yeah, this will be your data byte now so this is your data byte means 508 so i have written 508 and as because these are memory read operations, so the read bar, write bar, read bar will be enabled here and write bar will not be enabled, will be disabled. And IOM bar S0, S1, IOM bar will be 0 because memory read operation, S0 will be 0, S1 will be 1 for memory read operations. Again, one more memory read operation will be there. Similar fashion, we have taken again 200. Now the program counter PC program counter will be program counter. Will be modified by program counter will be modified by uh, 2002H because the next updated location 200 that is why we have taken 20 and 02H 2002H again 80027 02H low order address byte we have taken this is the higher order address byte we have taken T0 to T1 to T3 there is no such kind of uh, undefined or unspecified options. So directly you have taken for this higher address by 20H. For this address section, memory location, this is your memory location 200H. Now coming to this, 
so again read ALE enabled on this first one state read bar we are doing read here the second data byte means I have the address byte now this will be taken as a data byte so it will be treated as a data byte higher order address byte as a data byte the 708 now whenever you are getting this 708 so again no write options are going to happen so write bar will be disabled and this IOM bar or S0S1 IOM bar will be 0 because memory read operations is there S0S1 so S0S1 means S0 will be 0 and S1 will be 1 this option and the final now the content of this 70508 memory location is 7788 I told you the content of this memory location 70508 is 78H now this 78H will be accessed from this memory location that means we are going to do again a memory read operations for this we need to take one more memory read operations means machine cycle so that is also memory read means T1, T2, T3, 3 T states we have taken this clock now here the data byte will be the location that means 7050 the higher address will be here 70 now we have to tell this is my memory locations from where we have to take this so 70 how the address t1 to t3 that's taken that's been done now 8027 here 8027 means lower address byte again a will be enabled in this t1 state so this 50 that is why i have taken this is 7050 now this from this 7050 that means you got this total address 70508 now when you got this 70508 address i hope now we can access until and unless i reach to the particular locations where from we have to access the data byte or the memory content right so we got 7050 memory locations now we have to read this from this memory locations so that means memory read memory locations to access memory locations means memory read now we are going to read from this 7050 memory locations so the content is 78H now ALEM will be enabled here and disabled and then read bar will be in between T2 to T3 will be enabled write no write operations will be done and IOM bar is 0 S1 again this is memory read operation so IOM bar will be 0 and S0 will be 0 here S1 this is my S1 S1 will be 1 S0 will be 0 right because already we have taken this also memory read operation so s0 will be 0 s1 will be 1 so this is the total understanding i hope now you can do this lda memory read operations because this is also totally fully memory read operations how we are taking this total 13 t states i hope now you got clear and you have better understanding if you have seen the earlier videos that i have shown you the upcode phase timing diagram memory read memory write and then finally we are coming the next time i'm going to discuss about the sta and then mbi a common 078 any mbi right thank you very much